I'm going to record this segment so y'all know what's up. So I have two story times, and I'll do two different recordings to this. So we just reacted to Yo-Yo, you know what I'm saying? Situation within Walmart. And I said this, I have a similar story, but now it is we can go ahead. Yeah, story time with Ari the Mermaid. The second one's gonna get a lot worse than what this one is. So, um, it's no secret it is, you know, I'm from New York and I lived in Albany for about four years before this, I officially moved down to New York altogether. And the Walmart that is in Albany, New York, is the biggest Walmart in the East Coast, solely because of the fact that there's, there's two floors. You know, there's a, escal there's a whole escalators and elevators in the Walmart. That's how big it is, you know? And um, it was one particular day in the winter. It was me and a couple of my friends. We uh, decided that it is that we had to go to Walmart. I'm like, all right, cool. No big deal. Now, I only had about maybe $20, $30 into my account. $20 or $30 within my account. You know, no big deal. And... I was waiting for, I paid for my stuff first. I honestly went ahead and I paid for my food. Um, and this is where it is that I fucked up because when you pay for something in Walmart, the last thing it is you want to be doing is going around with the cart with the stuff it is that you paid for. Normally these people will leave, but I was waiting for my friends. So I started re-shopping a little bit and I said, well, I checked my account. I'm just like, I don't necessarily have everything to pay for. I think one of this I ended up getting was a um, a small chicken, some mac and cheese, and like some veggies or some, like some some other like little stuff. I can't remember at this rate because this 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 happened years ago, like years ago, right? So, so of course, fucking chicken. First of all, relax, relax on me, relax on me. I was a little hungry. Um. And I was like, okay. Right. It, it, may I add, it is like the amount of stuff it is that like I had was probably around like maybe 15 to $18. It was not that much. The most of that bulk had to be the chicken itself. So I waited for my friends to go ahead and I said, yeah, like I already paid this, 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 and this, blase, blase. All I did was I put the stuff underneath my bags that I had already paid for. So I just quietly went ahead and I just put the bags on top of what it is that I paid for. Now, like I said, I have done things of within Walmart before. And like I said, it's not my proudest hour. Um, there has been times before that me and my friends, we came through with Walmart bags because we saved most of them. And it wasn't the crinkled up bags neither. We saved some fresh Walmart bags. Me and a couple of my friends, we've done this before. We went to a Walmart. We'd go into like the garden section. We'll get all the stuff it is that we want. Get the garden section. We bag it up and then we haul ass out of there. Like, like I said, I do not advocate y'all doing this. Okay. Do not be slick and to do this because if you get caught, not only it is that they will arrest your black ass, <laughs> you potentially could get arrested. And then on top of that too, other things can happen. Now, when I initially got caught with the things, I never forget this. Me and a couple of my friends, we was walking to the car, and then I had somebody come up to me. It was just like, "Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me." Out in the parking lot, it's dead in this in the fucking winter cold. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Hey, listen, um, excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. And I'm trying to like walk a little bit faster because I'm just like, I don't like, no, 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 no. Excuse me, ma'am. Say yeah. Hey, listen, um, mm, did you pay for all of that stuff? Yeah, I paid for it. Yeah. Okay. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't mind me checking the receipt, of course, right? Okay. So it goes ahead. He immediately moved the bags that had the hidden stuff. Now, I should have been a little bit more sneak a leak by, um, either discarding the receipt or just not doing it at all <laughs> and not doing it at all. So, um, he goes, he goes and he's just like, all right, well, we're, if you don't mind, we're going to go upstairs and we're going to go ahead and we're going to check like the receipt and everything. Right. 
Of course, they find the little $18 items it is that I took and everything. Now, they told me it is, is like, look, we're going to take these. The stuff it is that you paid for, you can able to walk out with. But if we catch you here again, you will be arrested. I was like, God damn. So now my friends is waiting on me and they're just like, well, what the fuck happened? Like, all right, like, what the fuck happened? Like, they was checking the receipt. What happened? What happened? Did you steal? You stole something? Did you get caught? All right, did you get caught? They're saying this, right? And I was like, yes, I got caught. Like, why the fuck would you do that shit? Like, bro, why would you pay for the stuff and then go walking around with the damn bags as if, as if like, that's not an easy target? All right? Like, Come on now, if it was something it is you could like, if it was like a lip gloss or something or like nail polish or something like that that you could just put into your pockets and stuff like that, they can't do it that way. Come on, like they was mad at me because I didn't steal correct. I'm like, wait, hold on. You're not mad at me because it is I did the act. You're mad at me because it is I didn't steal correctly. This is some nigga shit. <laughs> this is by far some nigga shit. This happened, right? And ever since then, I'm just like, all right, you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that again. Not gonna do that again. But I will say this though, like that was embarrassing. That was pretty embarrassing. Now, I will tell you this. The 18 items, so the $18 items it is that I took, when I tell you it is that they sent this out to like an attorney and then somehow or another, something that was $18 turned into fucking $175 it is that I had to legally pay for. I don't know how it is that the inflation went from that. I literally took three items and then all of a sudden it is a turn to $175 for stealing. Yes. Yes. And legally I had to pay for it because it is, they could easily, they, they, they had like my information. They had like my, my ID, my name and all that stuff that was in the system. They knew what it is your girl looked like. So if I didn't pay that shit, then yes, they would have easily took me to court for stealing. Shouldn't have been being black. No, that's incre That's such a crazy statement. Correct. That increase was nuts. I'm like, wow. Okay. Okay. This is insane. So I paid it. I went about my day and whatnot. But needless to say, it is like, you know, that was the last time it is I did that. <laughs> needless to say, it is like I never did. Like, I did not do that anymore. Besides, I'm not even a, a Walmart type of bitch. I'm, I'm a tall J type of person. I love Target. Absolutely, positively love Target. Love Target. I will go into Target for one thing and come out with motherfucking 15 things and be like, how did I do this? If Walmart said, I'm gonna show you how to rob somebody, right? Bougie Target? Hey, listen, I, and I, ain't nothing wrong with a little bourgeois, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with the look, you know? I love I love saying that it's like, oh, I'm, I'm not the, oh, I'm going to Target. You know, you get the cart. You know what I'm saying? Me, me, Simba, and Philly, we understand this. You know what I mean? When you first go into Target and you get your cart, and if you are blessed with a Target to have a Starbucks, you know what I'm saying? The Star Bleezy. It's, it's just like, listen, it's Target, and on top of that too, there's, there's, a, there's a Starbucks. You wanted me. You wanted me to go. You want, you wanted me to do this. So I gotta go ahead and give i gotta go ahead and give me the nice little star bleezy you know what i'm saying i'm i'm more of like a brown sugar espresso oat milk type of person you know what i'm saying or an ice caramel macchiato type of thing you know what i'm saying i'm i'm like one of the, i'm like one of those you know what i'm saying or you know what i'm saying the cold brew with the pumpkin foam i'm one of those type of people from tar from 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 starbucks or you know what i'm saying a nice little warmed up blueberry scone or blueberry muffin or a pumpkin muffin or a banana bread whatever it is you know what i'm saying or even the birthday cake lollipop you know what i'm saying boom i'm one of those people so boom Go ahead, get the stuff from from a little bit star bleasy. Then I go around to, to to Target. You know what I'm saying? I see the thing. I see the things that is that I need, and then I'm just like, oh wait, oh so they got this face wash. You know, I do need I do need something for my routine. I need a morning routine and I need a night routine for my face. So, I mean, why not go ahead and get this face wash? And then of course the toner. And then oh wait, they got Nyx 
the fat oil lip gloss in different colors. Oh shit, I need to get like three of them. You know what I'm saying? And then now I gotta get stuff for Shadow. I gotta get her food. I gotta get her litter box. I gotta get her like the scratching post. You know what I'm saying? And then I see something that is as cute. I see a graphic t-shirt. You know what I'm saying? I see that. And then I see a bunch of snacks and everything. And I'm just like, oh, cool. Target has pumpkin spice creamer or Target got this espresso drink where it is I could put into my Keurig machine. You know, something like that. Target be, be swindling your girl. Every chance. Every chance. He said, this brings me, brings back memories of me stealing from Walmart. I remember I had stole mad groceries from there. I remember the cashier came over to help me with per with purchase. And I was sweating bullets because of the self-checkout area had cameras built into the cash register. And it was showing me stealing them. And I was about to shit my pants. But the guy didn't say anything and let me go. <laughs> and God was looking for me that time. Hey, listen, listen. When I tell you it is like, there was times where me and my friends, we went to Walmarts and like we had like the, the bags and everything. I'll never get this shit, bro. You know, you want to talk about nervous? I was spending about like a hundred something to almost $200 on groceries at Walmart. And my friends was just like, why spend a hundred something dollars on groceries when it is you can get that shit for free 99. What do you, how, what? How would you got food stamps or something? It's just like, nah, <laughs> we got something even better than food stamps. <laughs> we got these bags. And what we're going to do is we're going to go into the garden section. Cause especially when it is like, if it's not gardening seasoning and it's cold and everything like that, it is rare. It is the niggas is going to be in that aisle, let alone cameras. And I'm not saying that to advocate this. I like, for, again, this is not for advocating stealing. Please do not do this. We went ahead, we we had somebody it is that was checking to see if there was an associate that was coming or anybody it is that was coming and we would quickly bag them things up so fucking, so fucking fast. It was to the point that this, it was a sport that we double bagged it. Do you know how much time it is that you need to double bag groceries and shit like that for the items it is that needed to be double bagged? It's like, whew. But needless to say, this is like, look, moral of the story, I learned a lesson from not doing that anymore you please do not be going out here and trying to be klepto and then you you get caught and then you embarrassing yourself you embarrass your family and everything like that because you know you don't want to deal with that you don't you don't want to do you don't want to deal with that i've done i've done that before in my younger days and it's not my proudest hour so world of story is don't do that please don't be out here stealing i stole like 500 dollars worth of grocery okay yeah you need you need to stop because Listen, FBI go see this and be like, yep, mm, this person right here, yep, we're pulling up. Yep, we got him. 